Hello and welcome to this edition of our video newsletter. I'm your host, Chuck Sins. Nowadays, the world is depending more and more on critical sensor systems to monitor parametrics such as temperature, weight, air quality, and more. System designers who must develop sensor-based products have the time-consuming, challenging task of coming up with an optimal signal path solution for each system. In nearly all cases, designers are looking for smaller size solutions coupled with lower power consumption and higher reliability. They also prefer flexible designs to improve productivity. Up until now, your only alternatives have been customized analog solutions, which can take weeks if not months to design. Today, National Semiconductor is solving these design challenges and making your design process easier with the release of two new sensor analog front-end products for the precision sensor market. Each sensor analog front-end, or sensor AFE, is designed to work with a family or class of sensors. Each sensor AFE product will be part of an integrated hardware software system. The software system allows you to select a sensor already in the tool or to enter param parameters of your own sensor. The software then enables you to configure a signal path solution for each sensor selected and save this configuration data so that it can be downloaded into the sensor AFE. You can choose to design online through National's WebBench Designer or on the bench with a sensor AFE development system. Either way, National Semiconductor is offering you an alternative to long hardware development cycles. Sensor AFE configurability means providing you with an IC that is tailored to meet the specific needs of the sensor-based system, and this happens in just a few minutes. Each sensor signal path is optimized for performance and power. Depending on the requirements of the sensor application, you can also configure programmable current sources, multiple reference options, and sensor diagnostics. Let me demonstrate for you the LMP90100 development system, which is comprised of a software and hardware portion. When you launch the software, a wizard index immediately opens, offering you a number of short videos on the device features and performance, and lets you explore the capabilities of the tool. As you can see, the software offers a user-friendly environment to learn about the specific sensor AFE product. After you've finished with the software wizard, you can choose a sensor from our sensor database to connect to the sensor AFE. For example, in the case of our LMP90100, which is designed for precision low power sensor applications, you can choose from a variety of temperature sensors such as thermocouples, RTDs, thermistors, analog temperature sensors, pressure sensors, and load cells. If a specific sensor of choice is not available in the list, you can simply add a sensor to the database manually. Once a sensor has been selected, the sensor AFE is automatically configured for that sensor. Next, you are taken to the sensor AFE block diagram where you can investigate how the device has been configured for your chosen sensor. The help bar guides you through the process by leading you through all the programmable blocks. In addition, you can get written descriptions of all the programmable blocks by hovering over a particular block. In addition to automatically optimizing the configuration of the sensor AFE for the selected sensor, the software tool offers you estimated device performance. If any of the configurable blocks are manually changed, such as gain or sample rate, the table updates automatically and shows you the new estimated performance. No more lengthy data sheets to determine performance and configuration requirements. It's all online. Once your design is complete, you can save the configuration information to a file for later use. At this point, if you're interested in investigating the performance of the sensor AFE further, National Semiconductor can supply you with the development hardware which works with the software. All of the configuration information can be easily transferred in seconds to the Sensor AFE Evaluation Board via this USB-based data capture board. With the development hardware in place, you can now migrate to the Measurement tab where you can compare real-world measurement data to the estimated data. And in the case of the LMP90100, you have multiple inputs, so several sensors can be monitored at the same time. You also have the choice of monitoring the system performance in terms of voltage, ADC output codes, or sensor units such as degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit for temperature sensing. 
Statistical data is also available for all the data collected. And you can display that in either the time domain, giving you a virtual oscilloscope screenshot, or in histogram format. So you can see these new sensor analog front end products, along with the valuable development tools, are offering you an easier and shorter path to completing your system development. In the future, National Semiconductor plans to release more sensor AFEs targeting additional sensor types in other markets like medical. You can get more information on these offerings and access to other design resources when you click on the links within the newsletter or visit us at national.com slash sensor AFE. That's all for this edition of our video newsletter. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time.